those of you that have asked me if I'm ever going to do another video with my son Dylan demonstrating his perfect pitch, we just did one. I'll play the entire video in a couple minutes. My first experience with social media or with maybe mainstream social media came from a video that I posted on my personal Facebook channel back in 2015, four years ago. This video made its way around the world with about 22 million views altogether. And a lot of people thought it was fake. Here's a little clip from it. See, I meant over the flat augmented. The reason that some people thought it was fake is that they don't know what perfect pitch is. And the other thing is that Dylan is actually naming really complex chords. And that clip you just saw, he said the chord C augmented over D flat augmented. Well, when I realized that Dylan had perfect pitch, he was about three and a half or so. A. So I experimented to see how many notes he could hear simultaneously. And when I realized he could hear as many as I could play, I started teaching him music theory. D major over E flat augmented. Um. A flat augmented. E flat augmented. Over the course of the next year, I did a couple more videos, also mainly on Facebook, not really on YouTube, because my YouTube channel has, hadn't really started. I want you to listen to it and sing the notes. F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, D sharp, B, D. That's correct. Each time we did a new video, we tried to explore some new concept. Like in this video, Dylan is actually writing the notation. This one. It's been about three years since we've done one of these videos, and we just did one. Here it is. All right, Dylan. It's been a long time since we did this. Uh, sing A flat. A flat. What's this note? D, B flat, C, B, G. Okay, uh, sing from the bottom up this. Top down, this is a tricky one here. E, C, A, F, C sharp, A sharp, F sharp, D. Uh, what's the name of this chord, Dylan? And yeah, 9 over B flat major. Okay, what about this chord? Sing from the bottom up. C, F, G, D flat, E flat, A flat, D. <laughs> uh, what's the name of this chord, Dylan? Sing D minor. D F A. Uh, sing in the bottom up. Let's say, how about this? G sharp, D sharp, E F, E flat, G. Very good. <laughs> I'm gonna play a double polychord, Dylan. What's this? A flat major over G Lydian over F sharp major over F minor. Sing G Lydian. G C sharp D. Very good, Don. What two notes are these? E flat A. How about this? F, C sharp. So Dylan, tell people how much you use your perfect pitch. Barely. <laughs> Do you even ever think of it when you're listening to songs? No. The only time you use it is when? When you tell me to. <laughs> if I ask Dylan what a chord is or something, he'll tell me that. But other than that, it doesn't even occur to you, correct? Correct. Is it annoying? Yes. <laughs> but out of tune notes don't bother you, right? No. Dylan's perfect pitch is one thing. That's not incredibly rare. One in 10,000 people have it. But there are many degrees of perfect pitch. 
some people can identify maybe a couple notes in one chord strike. Some people can identify only one note. To be able to identify what you're hearing exactly, you actually need to know music theory. If you're saying a chord, like Dylan said in there, um, C diminished major seven over D minor. I've been asked over the last couple of years, when are you gonna do an ear training course? Well, I've been working on one for the last two years. It's just about done. When I say it's just about done, I would say that it will probably be out at the end of this month in August. It's taken a long time to actually synthesize how you actually train a person's ear to be able to hear incredibly complex music intervals melodies rhythms then the complexity of chords when you're talking about modal chords polytonal chords things like that this is a very sophisticated process and it takes repetition of very specific things so this is something that i've been working on thinking about how to present in an app form which it's coming out as and uh, like i said it'll be out probably later this month or so now, I'm sure there's many questions that you have to ask about this. I'll try and answer as many as I can in the comment section, but this isn't some kind of a trick. And people say, oh, perfect pitch is some type of trick that, you know, is, is really useless. Well, that's completely not true. Perfect pitch for someone like Beethoven, who was completely deaf at the end of his life, when he wrote his Ninth Symphony and his late string quartets, he had to hear all of this music in his head in order to write it. But even more helpful is relative pitch because people eventually lose perfect pitch beginning in their 50s. Most people do, it goes off by half step and then later on it disappears completely. But relative pitch you have for your whole life. So it's much more important. If you have any questions, remember to leave them in the comments section. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're a new subscriber here, remember to ring the bell if you're interested in the Beato book or anything in my store, this is how I actually am able to make videos for free. It's all there, www.rickbeato.com. Follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of different stuff on Instagram. That's at rickbeato1. Remember to do that. And if you really want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks so much for watching.